So there are really two main ways to calculate course fragment percentages. Um, one is by doing an aerial estimate of the horizon in the pit. And as you can see, the top layer and the bottom layer both have um, significant course fragments. So let's zoom in on that bottom layer. This is horizon five at Jackrabbit Canyon. See if you can come up with a percentage from about right here where these rocks start to where they end. Um, the second way is to take a sample. And what we've done right here to this pan is take a sample from that horizon. And it's hard because there's a lot of fine textured material, but it's all sort of the same color. So we need to sieve it. All right, so what we're doing now here with my assistant is that he's sieving that sample that I just had in the pan through a two-millimeter stick, getting all the sensitive clay to get through. And then here Finn put those rocks. All right, so we've got a sample of rocks. All right, so we sieved out these coarse fragments from that Horizon 5 in Jackrabbit Canyon. And you can see the coarse fragments take up the bulk of the sample. And this is Horizon 5 that we actually packaged up and sent to you. Um, so you're gonna texture that sample and we're gonna discuss coarse fragments here. So think about what percent coarse fragments this looks like. This is a little low mound here of the soil material and then pretty high amount of coarse fragments. So there's a lot and we'll talk about that after you've made an estimated or a educated guess.